Hello everybody, this is All's House Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Persona 4 Golden. In the previous episode, we continued to investigate Naoto to find some information that would help us find him, while also building up our bonds. And after we had done enough of that, we went in, took care of some quests and an optional boss, and now are ready. Well, ready as soon as I organize the party, because for this, I'm going to bring along Yukiko, Yosuke, who we haven't used in a long time, and Chie. Also, in between episodes, I took care of organizing uh, all my party members and my own skills. Uh, the way I typically organize them is magical attacks first, then physical, uh, then healing, then status effects slash buffs and debuffs, and then uh, passives, and that's if they have them. As for the personas I've made, well, for Aeon, I've got Quetzalcoatl. Hanged, I've got Yatsufusa. Uh, Temperance, I've got Seryu. For Emperor, we've got Pabelsag. Justice, we've got Throne. Girime Kala for Moon. Lovers, Raphael. Devil, Lilith. Magician, Rangda. <coughs> Hero font, Cerberus. Sun, Tamlin. And Strength, Kali. I am probably going to have to drop one of these in order to uh, make space for any new uh, shuffle time personas we might encounter, if we encounter any. But without further ado, let's get into this. Oh, and for anybody who's just now joining the series, uh, when it comes to these dungeons, because there's not really all that much interesting to them beyond the story and maybe the design, the way I do it is I show the first floor, I show any new for uh, any new, uh, enemies, I show for the beginning of floor dialogue, anything interesting that might happen, like new stuff from the, uh, like, uh, equipment from chests, special chests. And by equipment, I mean armor or weapons. Uh, ooh, what else? Oh yeah, any cutscenes that occur, and any floors that are important. And I should note that even though Naoto's dungeon only has nine floors in total, including the boss floor, um, it's actually just as long as other dungeons, for reasons I will get into at a later date. Unknown intruder detected inside facility. Threat level yellow. Deploying guards inside the facility. Warning, warning. Attention intruders, leave the facility immediately. I repeat, leave the facility immediately. Huh? Intruders? That means us, right? Mm. Boy, today's been a, uh, well, interesting week. I managed to get through and, of course, shadow immediately. Anyways, managed to get through my first week of, uh... Sweet. Uh, yeah, with Risei, randomly at the beginning of a battle, she will scan an enemy and can show you their weakness. Uh, where was I? Oh, right, got through my first week as a locksmith. Now, admittedly, uh, once this goes up, I'll have gone through two weeks of locksmithing. But, uh, so far, the job doesn't seem too bad. Anyways, Royal Dancer is weak to light. Let's see. Well, let's see. Royal Dancer. It also resists all other elemental stuff, like fire, ice, electricity, wind. And it drops yellow cord, of which we need ten. As for the Inviting Nigoyo, let's see. It is level 47. The Inviting Nagoyo drops is uh, weak to fire, being, you know, wood in and all, resists wind, and drops Azalea Cord, of which we need four. So, let's get these guys taken care Three of. of. Don't give up now, okay? Let's see, I've got Mahaman with Quetzalcoatl, so I'll just use them to take out the two royal dancers. Defeated. 
Let's see, who's next? Chie, I'll just guard until I get to Yukiko. Last one. Go who apparently is our slowest character. It's weak to fire. <laughs> oh. So not just at the beginning of battle, but also at each character's turn there's a chance. Good. I also organized all my other party members' skills. I don't know if I said that. Probably did. A flower's fate is to bloom and scatter. Oh yeah, they also get the occasional special voice line or poses if they're wearing costumes. Okay, time to keep going. Because I always show the first floor just so you get an idea of the aesthetics of the uh, dungeon. So far, it's pretty straightforward. Give me a sec. I'll do a quick scan. I should work well. You can win this, guys. Okay, flattering halibres resist fire, are weak to ice, and they drop sharp premolars, of which we need da, 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 four. Okay. Weak to ice. I get the feeling she only scans it if the character you're using has their weakness. Because that seems to be the case. Go cheer, Senpai! Go! Kick their ass! Alright, now I'm at fire. So I'm just going to guard until I get to Yukiko. Plus, we get to see Yukiko's newest persona in action. Because, you know, she evolved the last time we were out. Alright, let's get the chest key. Because it's always good to have them. Did I level up? Yes, I leveled up! Ooh, and we get the enemy radar. You will be able to see enemies on the map, even where you haven't explored yet. Very handy for knowing what's behind certain doors. And for, you know, not having enemies get the drop on you. Alright, got one up ahead. Is it? Nope, that's just a special chest. Whoa there. That one's immune to ice. Okay, we got Source Basalt. Source Basalt is weak to fire, repels ice, and resists electricity and wind and drops Source Lump, of which we need... Do, 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 four. Alrighty then. Uh, hmm. Let's see, we got the Lion Calibres. Or Flattering Calibres, they're weak to ice. Do I have any Personas with fire? I should. With everything that I got. Yeah, I got Agadine. Hmm, now what could you be weak? It's weak to fire! Yeah, it's whenever you have a Persona that an enemy has a weakness to. Of course, I already know all their weaknesses, so... Kind of... I don't want to say point... Well, yeah, it is pointless. Did I remember to switch things back in terms of difficulty? I probably didn't because uh, I switched the difficulty settings back to what they were before that one fight because I wanted to grind up to get to level 53 because there were some personas that uh, that uh, I was just one level shy of getting or being able to make like Tam Lin or Raphael. Let's see. Eh, already made Okuni Nushi, don't need that. Let's grab a skill card. Alec break? Eh, not interested. Okay, let me check my difficulty settings, because knowing me... Yeah, I forgot to change them back. 
Oh well, at least I noticed it now instead of at the boss fight. Let's see, you got a bead from that one. Okay, so far seems pretty straightforward in terms of the levels. Ooh, we get higher level enemies. Careful, that enemy's immune to wind. Okay, we have no the. Brainer. I'm sure you'll win. We have the Furious Gigas. Repels uh, fire and repels wind. Has no other weaknesses or resistances. They drop proof of passions, of which we need in total nine. Six for the item, but we also need three for a. Uh, we need three for a quest later on, so be sure to keep that in mind. Okay, seeing as how you have no real weaknesses, let me bring out Tamlin. Three enemies left. You can win this. Let's see, heavy physical damage to one foe, heavy physical damage to all foes. Let's get a power charge going. And Chie. Uh, no, wait, that was somebody else who had the, uh boost everyone's attack power. Unfortunately, one of them got a high counter off, but you know what? It doesn't matter. I can't defeat Just two left. Come on, this fight's not over. Death bound. Let's see how that works with uh Oof. Would have been awesome. Yeah. Well, we, uh, had, uh, hit both of them. Oh, well. Just hit this one with a rampage. At least I would if it didn't keep getting a high counter. And it gets critical rate up, of course. Uh, let's just get a Meteorama to heal everybody. All right, let's try a Tempest Slash on this one. There we go. Well, if I recall correctly, High Counter's only got, like, what, a 20% chance of trig- mm, Excuse me, triggering? Ooh, a new one, Triglav. Oh, yeah, that was one of the ones I could make. Uh, let's get the four more. Just so I can pull everything. Let's see, magic up, XP up, which is kind of a moot point considering the devil. But at least we got a sweep bonus. And we got Triglav. Uh, who can I get rid of? I don't want to get rid of Rangda because it's got a couple more levels to go to learn a skill that is, uh, well, learn Repel Physical, which would be pretty damn good. Uh, Grimikala? Yeah, probably. I don't really need him. And... Nergiri Mekala. And I've got Darkness covered with Yukiko. So, yeah. Yeah, there goes all our XP. Oh well. Probably already over-leveled as is. For the boss. Okay, got a chest over here, which means dead end, which means we can safely go this way. And get a shadow jumping out of the chest. Alright, what have we got? Looks like that one's immune to wind. Alright, insolent basalt. No problem. It'll be over in a flash. The insolent basalt resists fire and ice, repels electrical, but is weak to wind. It also drops insolent steel, of which we need four. Alright, that should be too difficult. Ah, uh, let's guard until... Yep, until Yosuke's turn comes up. Let's see... It'd be cheaper to use Magarula for this. No, wait. It's only one of them that's weak to win. Wow, Yosuke-senpai! Again! Out to steal the show, huh? Yosuke Senpai was cool? No way. Uh, it'll be cheaper to use Magarion. So let's do that. Two 
knock enemies. these two down and then take them out Let with an go. all out attack. It's showtime. Are you ready? Ready when you are. Go! Knock them out! Alright, what do we got? Meh. Let's go for the fool. Let's see. Chest key. One more to change to Persona. Already got Flowers, and I believe we already made Samael at one point. But even if we haven't, I'll just toss him on. Or we got Samael. Death? No, we definitely didn't make any death ones. We might have picked him up at one point, but no. Flowers we've definitely made at one point for the hero font. And we got a life stone out of that. Yeah, yeah, another shadow. Be careful. There's an ice immune. Wow, it's puny. This will be cake. All right, Constancy Relic. Resist physical, but is weak to darkness. They drop the stone hide, of which we need four. Okay. Ooh, darkness. Let's see. These guys were fire. So, let's get Yatsufus. Yat, uh... Well, what he set out. See, I don't believe I have darkness on him. Nope. So let's just guard up until Yukiko's turn. Just two left. Give me a sec. I'll do a quick scan. Darkness will work. Yeah, it will. Yukiko Senpai beats the enemy in style. Okay, ooh, level 5 skill card. Sure, I'll take that. Let's see, change to Arcana. Void encounters, and sure. And. Mazionga. Meh. Okay, keep making our way through. Again, this one is surprisingly linear, though I can't imagine that's going to stay consistent throughout this entire... Yeah, this entire dungeon. But as you can see, unlike the other dungeons, we're not going up. We're going down. Anyways, let's get through the rest of this floor. Which actually doesn't seem like there's too much left. Okay, nothing new from that fight. Alright, open this chest up, get a life stone, and I believe the enemy... E nope, they haven't disappeared. Okay, nothing new from this fight, but we do get Teddy's, uh, reserve attack. Drill, baby, drill! Let's go, partner! Okay! Places, everyone, and... Alright, here goes! Go! Not yeah, not all that different from his regular follow-up attack, but hey. Alright. Uh Parvati, we made her. Let's get a persona level up. I kinda wish I'd had ranged up for that. This uh fine, get the sweet bonus. And get rid of Parvati. Ooh, Magadadine. Uh, 
one to get rid of, though. Honestly, I don't need Masuku Kaja. Okay, this should be the last bit of the floor. Okay, nothing new in this fight, and from our chest we get... a shadow. Oh! The opulent hands! Oh well. Yeah, probably best I didn't do the whole XP more thing because, well... <laughs> I'm probably already severely overleveled for this. Let's see, opulent hands, they resist fire, they absorb ice, electricity, and wind, and they nullify light and dark. So our best bet is going to be physical attacks. In that case, let's get Tam Lin out. And get a power charge going. Let's see, no power charge for you. So let's just go for a power slash. Because it's the only thing that they're not Someone resistant to. Let's see, you get a power charge going. Yukiko, not a whole lot you can do. So just attack. So persistent. Oof. Yukiko-senpai's persona is sealed! Alright, let's hit him with a death bound. Yeah, of course it missed most of them. Alright, hit him with a rampage. There we go! Unfortunately, she's one of the only characters who can heal everyone, although I believe I got somebody. I can't defeat it. Just standing there waiting Senpai's restlessly, huh? Is sealed. You know what, let's go for some Tempest Slashes. Just two left. Come on, this fight's not over. Damn, it's not going down. Yeah, I can see that. Maybe I should have gone for a revolution. Now that's a yeah, Let that way I can get criticals. Enemy down. Good, good. Be sure Hit him with an all-out attack. Here see if we, we can't finish him off with that. Okay. Ooh, we got a new one. Succubus. Uh, let's see, chest key. Unfortunately, I'm gonna lose out. Let's get that XP up, and we'll grab Succubus. And we'll get rid of Samael, because he's auto-registered. Ooh, look at all that money. I won't fall behind. Yeah, but I definitely feel like we are, uh... Very much over-leveled for what we're dealing with. Let me see. Evade physical. Oof, that's a good one. Atomara Kukaja. I think I can go without that, because having the evade physical, even though I'm already strong against it, could be useful when I make uh, future personas. Uh, well, no, we aren't at the over-leveled point yet. Well... Maybe some of my personas are. Let's see, ooh, arrow rain. Eh, I'll probably get rid of stagnant air. Yeah. Because I don't really use status ailments on my enemies unless they're, you know, debuffs. Another level for me! So, currently, we are actually at the level that the boss would be at. Ooh, Diaran. Excellent. I can get rid of Diorama. 
because this is a full HP heal. And we got a snuff soul out of that. Nice. Okay, no enemies on the map. All right, so I'm gonna head up to the next floor, show the dialogue, and after that, I'm just gonna be skipping around. Warning, warning, attention intruders, leave the facility immediately. I repeat, leave the facility immediately. Does this mean the Otokun doesn't want our help? I, I don't really get it, but let's go on for now. Warning, warning. Attention intruders, leave the facility immediately. I repeat, leave the facility immediately. Hey senpai, when Naoto-kun appeared on the Midnight Channel, he said he was going to undergo a body alteration operation. That Did that mean Naoto-kun's going to be altered here? Crap, we need to hurry. Okay, two new enemies. We got the Dogmatic Tower and the Shallow Okina. Uh, let's see, Dogmatic Tower. No problem. It'll be over in a flash. Resist physical, but is weak to wind. And it drops Dogma Clasp, of which we need ten. As for the Shallow Okina, level 49, it is weak to electricity and absorbs wind. It drops the Wind Cutter Cloth, of which we need 10. Okay, nothing much Chi I can do against them. Let's see, I need to get out Tamlin. Nah, let's give Siryu some time to shine. Um, your weaknesses. Let's see. Yeah, it'll be cheaper to use Mazion. Gotta take them both down. Two enemies All right, down. Keep, it up. keep going, senpai. All right, Yosuke's next. Is that is good. Scan. Wind will work on it. Okay, and yeah, Magarulo would be better. Ooh, whip. Those two are gonna do absorb it. Oh well, it doesn't matter. All out attack should finish them off. Yep. Uh, ooh, I'll take a skill level up. Ooh, but we also have new persona. Uh, fine. I'll take it just to keep filling out the compendium. Okay, new enemy in the form of the Red Sigil. The Red Sigil absorbs fire, is weak to ice, absorbs electricity, and repels light and dark. Drops a silver signature, of which we need... Uh... Come on, I know it's here somewhere. There we are, ten. Okay, then. Well... Can't do anything with Yosuke, or with our character. Because, if I recall correctly, these guys are win. Good. And I'm just going to blast it again, just to get it out of here. Like it hurt. Alright, hit him with a Magarula. Two enemies down. Okay. Ready or not, here we come. Uh, you know what? I think I'll take that skill level up. Seeing as how there's nothing else. Tamlin's death. Bound has changed to Vorpal Blade. Ooh. Let me 
and take a quick look at that. Because I know that was a high-level skill in Persona 5. One of the three physical skills that you'd want to get, along with, I believe, God Hand and... Ah, oh, what was it? Something Blade? Brave Blade, that was it. Let's see, deals heavy physical damage to all foes. Yeah, I think Vorpal Blade was the one that had high crit chance in Persona 5, but I can't remember if it does in Persona 4. Anyways, see you guys at the next interesting bit. Okay, new enemy, the Power Castle. They repel physical attacks, unfortunate. They repel electrical attacks, but are weak to wind. They drop the Power Rock, of which we need eight. Okay, do I personally have any Personas that have wind? No, no, no. There we are, Quetzalcoatl. Hmm, now what could you be weak? You can win this. Oh, I'm pretty confident we can. Three enemies down. Let's go. Okay. Places everyone and action. All right, here goes. Yeah, go, go, go. Honestly, they kind of look like a person who had a castle and rock built around them. Kind of weird if you ask me, but then again, what isn't weird about shadows at this point? Eh, nothing new. Just get some HP and SP recovery. Oh, that's not good. Darkness won't work. Okay, two new enemies. The flowing no sand problem. It'll be over in a flash. is weak to ice and repels wind. They drop illusionary sand, of which we need six. As for the dismayed panzer, da -da -da -da, they nullify electrical, wind, and darkness. They have nothing else. They, have, they drop iron barrels, of which we need four. Okay, well, if these guys ain't weak to it, or rather, they are weak to something, but nothing I have access to, off the top of my head. Let's check out Vorpal Blade. Dang, that was powerful. Good. My boo Maybe I should have stuck with Teddy on this. Nah, it doesn't matter. That's too defeated. Okay, nothing new in shuffle time, really. Let's change Persona, get the one more. Ah, uh, I was hoping it wouldn't be the money one. In that case, let's just deal some new cards. Ooh, and we get our money up anyways. Sweet. God, can you imagine getting that on a uh, golden hand fight where you killed all three of them? Oof. Unknown intruders have arrived at B4F. Threat level orange. Major facility areas locked. Eliminate the intruders. Now then, this is a rather important floor. There is one specific thing on it, and that specific thing is the reason that I say that even though there's only nine floors in total, that this this uh, dungeon is just as long as the others. I'm not going to show this entire floor, but I will show it when I find it. Okay, this door right here. The research area is beyond this point. Entry is forbidden to ordinary combatants. Please present your ID. This door is why I say that this dungeon is just as long as the other dungeons despite having less floors. That is because you do not find the ID for this door that unlocks it until a later floor. Which means, and yes, you do have to come back here for this. So that means you are forced to backtrack in this dungeon. Yes, it is possible you could be forced to backtrack in Mitsuo's dungeon, but that's only if you miss the Darkness Orb. If you collect it, then you can just go through the entire 
uh, dungeon no problem. This one literally forces you to backtrack in this dungeon, which given the randomized nature of all the floors, is a major pain in the butt. Because it, it's not as simple as just go down, go down again, and get to the door. Because you can't do that quickly through these dungeons. You have to find the stairs again. Yeah. I... I do like Naoto. Sorry about that, got a phone call. Anyways, I... I do like what we get out of this dungeon, but I don't like that we're forced to do backtracking through randomized floors that you have to search the entire way through to find the stairs either to go forward or backwards on. Ugh, it just... yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys when either we encounter a new enemy, which I don't think we will because we already encountered all the enemies we could on floors 3 and 4. Unless we encounter a red shadow. So, I'll see you whenever the something next occurs. Intruders will be eliminated. I repeat, intruders will be eliminated. Okay then, now that we've reached the fifth floor, we're going to start encountering new enemies. In this case, we have the Wild Drive. It resists physical, but is weak to... It is weak to electricity and nullifies light and dark. They also drop iron gear, of which we need six. Okay, electricity, huh? Well then, said you. Reset scan! Electricity will work! This will... Three of them. Don't give up now, okay? Uh, three enemies. Let's go answer. It's showtime. Are you ready? You guys better keep up. Go! Beat him up! Death immediately ends shuffle time. Well, that can be useful if you've got a bad card coming up that you want to avoid. Let's just grab a chess key, because none of these cards are good. I mean, Aeon can be good, but nah. Not this time. No new enemies, but we got Hokuto Seikun for our hero font. Let's just grab him real quick. Looks like a dude frozen in ice. And we'll toss away Fuki to get him. That one's immune to darkness. Okay, two new enemies. We have the Fail Gene, wow, which repels physical but has no other weaknesses or resistances. They drop stretchy objects, of which we need six. Then there is the Mighty Beast, which is weak to ice. Weak to darkness. Nope, my bad. Weak to light. Repels darkness, and it resists electricity and wind. It drops the demon collar, of which we need... Six. Okay, so let's see. Can't use any of my physical skills, so Tamlin is out. You know what? Let's just go for a light attack. On it. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll blast them all away. Because I've had that happen to me before. Yep. Oh, yeah. right. we won. We did it. Uh oh, that one's immune to darkness. Okay, new enemy, Chaos Fuzz. Wow, Chaos Fuzz is weak to fire, repels basically everything else except for Almighty and Physical, and drops Platinum Lumps, of which we need ten. Okay then, weak to fire, huh? Let's see. Yatsufusa, let's get you back out here. Hmm, MP5s. Well, good weapon. But it's not going to do any good against me. Ooh, 
Mott of Death, which we don't need, but I will collect it anyways. Unknown intruders have arrived at B6F. Eliminate the intruders. Okay, new enemies, some of whom are from higher floors. Let's see, Fierce Cyclops, yep. As you can see, it is weak to physical, and it drops... Uh, where did it go? Ah. H drops Hard Thorn. Oh, also it absorbs Fire, Ice, Electrical, and Wind skills. But, honestly, if it's weak to physical, come on. Uh, the Hard Horn we need... D -d 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 Ten of. The Mind Dice... Mm -mm. Mind Dice nullify physical attacks, but they are weak to light and dark attacks. They drop Mental Thread, of which we need... 10. Of course, it also has Counter-Strike, because why wouldn't it? Go! Just hit it again. Ooh, that looked like it hurt. You guard. Now what could you be weak? Darkness will work. This two enemies left. Don't lower your guard now. Let's go, Amaterasu. Yukiko Senpai? Nice! Boy, if looks could kill. And I'll just take the money up. Give me a sec. I'll do a quick scan. Electricity will work. This will be easy. Okay, another new enemy, the Order Giant. They resist physical, they nullify fire, they are weak to electricity, as you can see, nullify wind, weak to light, and nullify darkness. They drop the fixed lump, of which we need 10. Shouldn't be too difficult, especially considering we already have its weakness at the ready. But I think I'm going to switch over to Seryu so I can use the one that hits multiple enemies. On. This fight's not over. Plus, it'll be cheaper in terms of SP cost. Two enemies down. Here's our kick. This is it. Yeah, not enough. I think my boo boo should be enough. Yep. Okay, two new enemies, a Truth Pesque, which, as you can see, is weak to ice. But they also absorb fire, electricity, and wind. They drop Guard Stationary, of which we need ten. And the Chariot Mach Wheel... Mach Wheel resists fire, resists electricity, but is weak to wind. They drop br Bushy Fur, of which we need... Come on, I know it's in this list somewhere. Come on. Oh, give me a minute to find this one. No, wait, there it is. Bushy fur. We need four of them. 
Okay then, in that case, seeing as we have its weakness right here with Chie, let's hit it with the Truth Pesque with a Bufala. And hope we don't miss because of that mock wheel. Alright, Magarula. I couldn't do it. One enemy to go. Keep it up. Come on, quit missing. Ah, Megiddo, an almighty skill. Doesn't do him much good, though. And nothing new here. I'll just. I got plenty of chess keys. Let's get the skill card, see what we can get out of it. Magarula. Meh. Okay, that was the research card that we need to get into that room two floors down, which means we're gonna want to start making our way down here. Now I'm gonna go through the rest of the floor so I can get those other chests, but after that we are going to be making our way down. I will see you guys then. We still have a couple more enemies we have yet to encounter, not including the rain enemies, which we can't encounter. So, I'll see you guys either down on the fourth floor or once we have encountered those enemies, whichever happens first. Looks like that one's immune to wind. Okay, we got a new enemy, the Immoral no Snake, problem. one of the two we were missing. The Immoral Snake is weak to fire, but absorbs electricity and wind. It drops Venomous Fangs, of which we need, well, Venomous Fang. Uh, da, 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 venomous Fang, Venomous Fang, we need six of those. Okay, weak to fire, These one, this one's weak to ice. Better off guarding. Use Bufala against the Truth Pesque. And then just hit it with physical. Ooh, that looked like it hurt. Switch over to Yatsuf Yatsufusa. Give me a sec. I'll do a quick scan. It's weak to fire. Two enemies left. Don't lower and your And then blast down. it with Maraga D. Right. And no shuffle time. Okay. There's another gate. And beyond this point is confidential. Entry is forbidden for ordinary combatants and researchers, which means our research ID ain't gonna get us past this door. Take a guess where the ID that we need is. Please present your ID. Door won't open with the research card. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, got two new personas from this fight, so gonna have to take half money in order to get them both. Okay, Kikuri Hime. Priestess, we don't need that anymore, but I will replace Mott just to get her registered. And Desarabia. The Fool. Weak to physical. I do not want that, but I will grab it just to auto register it. And just so that I can illustrate my point about it being a pain in the butt that we have to backtrack, because I don't think I've ever actually had to backtrack or shown it on camera, but as you can see, we're back on the fifth floor, and it's completely randomized again. So yeah, this, this is why the dungeon can be a bit of a pain in the butt. It's not too difficult, at least it isn't for me because of how overleveled I am. As a matter of fact, I've actually reach the point with the party where I need to reduce the amount of XP I'm getting. Yikes. Well, except for you, but meh. <sighs> Alright, now I'll see you guys when we either encounter that last enemy, or we encounter the, uh, or we get to the fourth floor. Or specifically that door on the fourth floor. Okay, I believe this should be the door. The research area is beyond this point. Entry is forbidden to ordinary combatants. Please present your ID. Okay, then. Ooh, maybe. All 
Okay, I was hoping it would be the enemy that we hadn't yet encountered because it was a higher floor one, but no. Uh, half XP, I will take that because I kind of need to reduce the amount I'm getting. And I'll take a skill card. Let's see, Munakana, yeah. We get Energy Shower. And Kurama Tengu. Uh, don't really need it, but I'll take it anyways. Careful, I sense a strong presence beyond this door. Open the door and enter? Yes, we will. Intruder detected within the research area. Elimination. Proceeding. Okay! That's not good. Darkness won't work. Yeah, darkness won't work, light won't work. Basically, it has no weaknesses. Herculean Strike deals medium physical damage to all foes, power charge, next physical attack will be 250% greater in power, and Last Resort deals medium almighty damage to everyone. All we can really do is just hit it with everything we've got. And you know what? May as well get Masakunda to increase our chances of getting out of the way of whatever attacks it hits us with, or tries to hit us with. Last one. Go for it. Revolution? No, I probably shouldn't. All right, let's switch over to Throne. Get our attack increase going. Uh, can't really do anything with you, so just hit him with everything you got. I couldn't do it. Amazing, Yukito Senpai. Keep it up. Yeah, this guy can hit hard, but it's not going to matter much for us once we start blasting it. Not going down. Someone finish it off. Oh, we will eventually. And yeah, it's basically just going to back and forth power charge and Herculean strike. Damn, it's not going down. Which is kind of what I'm going to be doing. Uh, didn't I have some that had Marakunda? Ooh, did I forget to give that to one of them? No, no, come on. Ah, there we are. And I'd better get a Mediorama going. His defense increased. Great. There we go. Okay, switch back to Tamlin, then hit it with a Vorpal Blade. Not as much as I would have liked, but oh well. Let's get another Mediorama going. Damn, 
Okay, I think I'll switch back to Paddle Sag because I imagine our power attack, er, uh, our power boost is probably going to run out soon. Just start hitting it with Agadine. Because darkness ain't going to work on it. Just what I'd expect, you, Senpai. Alright, we're getting it down. Uh, you know what, let's get Marakunda going again. Just in case it was about to run out. I couldn't do it. Stand by. That's concerning, but I don't think we got anything to really worry about. That's some thick skin. Probably don't need another power charge, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Okay, switch back to Tamlin. Yeah, you know what? I don't need it. Let's go for a Tempest Slash on it. Oof. Well, maybe I'm mistaken in that regard. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Our allies are charged up and focused. Okay. There we go. Oof, that guy was tanky. Yes, you did it, Senpai. Yeah, we did. Okay, Yosuke Senpai, you look hurt. Yeah, I should probably heal up. One leader card, and that is the card we need to get through uh, the door on floor six. So, I'll either see you guys there, or when we get that one enemy. Okay, well, made it back to here and unfortunately did not encounter the enemy I was hoping to. The enemy is called a world balance. You know those scales we've been following, the heat balance and whatnot? It's basically that, but world balance. It resists physical, resists fire, ice, electricity, and wind, but is weak to light and darkness. They drop Shining Dish, of which we need... Six of. Beyond this point is confidential. Entry is forbidden for ordinary combatants and researchers. Please present your ID. Use the leader card to open. And that opens up this to us. Which also lets us get this treasure chest. Which had a life stone in it. Okay, on to the next floor. Unknown intruders have entered classified sector 2. Threat level red. Deploying increased guards within the facility. The intruders must be eliminated. Man, it's seriously rejecting us. We'll just have to get ourselves fired up and bust on through. There's one enemy. You get a free hit. Okay, new enemy, the Hell Knight. It'll be over in a flash. The Hell Knight has no weaknesses and no resistances. It drops the black rain, of which we need four. All right, then. If it's got nothing for us to really worry about, then I'm just going to switch over to Pebble Sag and lower its defenses. That way I can just wail on it. Someone else's turn. Can't defeat it. 
no, but Yosuke can. How about that? Oh, that's not good. Darkness won't work. Okay. Wow, it's puny. This will be cake. One new enemy, the Wicked Turret. The Wicked Turret resists physical. Matter of fact, it has a lot of the same weaknesses and strengths as the Order Giant, except it doesn't nullify fire. But I'll say it anyways. Weak to electricity, nullifies wind. Weak to light, nullifies darkness. It drops the black sheet, of which we need... Black sheet, black sheet. Let's see, black rains. There we are, black sheet. We need six of them. Okay, what were these guys weak to? Darkness. Don't give up now, okay? Unfortunately, it nullifies darkness. So that's not going to be an option for us. Okay, I'll switch over to Saturu, hit it with weaknesses. <laughs> electricity. Enemy down. That's nice how it's done. Me, senpai. That's great, Senpai. You really get me going. And then we'll guard until we get to Yukiko and just take these guys out with darkness. Good kill. And I'll just take a ton of money from this. Because it never hurts to have a ton of money. Stop the intruders. Stop the intruders. Okay, I can sense Naoto-kun nearby. Just a little more to go. Hang in there. Hmm, watch it. That one's immune to fire. Okay. One of the last of the two enemies we have yet to encounter, the Yotun of wow, Power. This will be cake. Yotun of Power repels physical attacks, absorbs fire attacks, but is weak to electricity. It also drops the riveted hide, of which we need ten. So, if it's immune, or if it's weak to electricity, let's bring Seriu out here. Electricity will work. Three enemy. Here's our okay. Places everyone and action. Not gonna lie, that position they're holding uh, looks pretty damn painful. Okay, so I miscounted because one of the enemies was separated by a bunch of enemies from the next one, but, uh, Dominating Machine, same as it is on the fourth floor, except in this case, it can drop Damascus, of which we need six. Oh uh, boy, this is not an enemy I really want to fight regularly, so... You know what, I'm probably just gonna skip over. Then again, it is boss enemy downstairs, so... Eh, yeah, screw it. Let's keep fighting. Well done, Senpai. You really get me going. Just gonna blast as much as we can. I'm probably gonna use the fox soon after this. Just gonna hit it with all my more powerful attacks. Damn. Keep it up. Over a thousand. I know I haven't changed my difficulty settings. At least I'm pretty sure I haven't. Yeah, it's all the same. 
I mean, I did change XP to less because I was hitting level 60 with my characters, but still. Alright, let's see if I can't find that last enemy. Uh, oh, that's not good. Darkness won't work. Okay, last enemy, the Elegant Mother. Problem. It'll be over in a flash. Elegant Mother is weak to fire, nullifies ice, resists electricity and wind, and repels light and dark. She drops the fur clasp, of which we need... six. And outside of the world balance, which I, I just couldn't find, that's all of them. Uh, let's see... let's get... Does Throne have... no, he doesn't have a multi-hitting one. And down Lord, they go. We did it. And that's pretty much the entirety of this. I may as well go grab the uh, last treasure chest here before moving on. But, uh, honestly? Alright, we can get out of here. Honestly, even though I've forgotten to mess with the timer a couple times, I think I'm going to end things off there for today. We more than likely have enough time to get through the initial cutscenes and the boss fights, but I don't want to repeat what happened last... Um, of what happened last dungeon, where turns out the cutscenes went on for a bit longer than the I originally believed without a save point. And thus, we end up with a two-hour-long episode to get through all the cutscenes. So, I'm probably going to end things... Well, no. No, probably. I am going to end things off there for today, and we'll take care of the boss fight next episode. So, if you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for when I upload, or to hit the straw poll link to vote for our next Let's Play, which, at the time of recording, is currently at three votes. Two for the Banner Saga, and one for the Sexy Brutal. And please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.